Hello and welcome to Computer Engineering. I'm Dr. Peter Waszewski and during the next 20 minutes or so I would like to take you on a ride through our exciting program. On this ride I will give you background information and tell you about the reasons which led to the introduction of computer engineering into the SIT curriculum. I will explain to you the program structure, the integration into SIT's applied learning landscape and hopefully I will be able to motivate you to apply for computer engineering at SIT. I chose the right analogy before for a reason. As you can see, our computer engineering program has a specialization in intelligent transportation. And with this specialization, it becomes an interdisciplinary program that contains not only elements from traditional electrical and electronic engineering and IT domains, but also from modern mobility and transportation domains. On the one hand, we have traditional elements such as electrical and electronics engineering, information and communication technologies, and computer science. On the other hand, we have the modern elements such as automotive technologies, smart mobility solutions, or cyber physical systems. By what did we combine computer engineering with intelligent transportation in the first place? The reason for this lies in modern vehicles which are literally computers on wheels, in which most of the innovation happens at the level of digital systems. Moreover, today cars are more and more interconnected with each other and their environment. As we know, a computer uses hardware and software. So where do we find those in a vehicle? In terms of hardware, a car today can have more than 100 electronic control units. Each of those ECUs is a compact computer able to communicate with other ECUs, sensors and actuators, and special automotive gateways. In terms of software, there are overall millions of lines of code running on the microprocessors of those ECUs. Such a huge amount of code cannot be easily written by a few programmers, but rather requires a sophisticated model-based system design. This is especially relevant since many functions in a car are safety critical with strict real-time constraints. As a consequence, computer engineering is inevitable for the development of modern vehicles. But why is this topic important for Singapore? Well, a few years ago, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long introduced the Smart Nation Initiative as a way to transforming Singapore through technology. Specifically, he said, our vision is for Singapore to be a smart nation. A nation where people live meaningful and fulfilled lives, enabled seamlessly by technology, offering exciting opportunities for all. It turns out that one of the six pillars of smart nation is transport, of which vehicles and modern mobility are an integral component. So let us take a closer look at transport as a key component of Smart Nation and list a few examples of novel technologies in this area. First and foremost, we have autonomous vehicles, which in the near future will become the backbone of individual mobility in Singapore. But Smart Nation will not stop at self-driving cars. Efficient and convenient public transportation solutions, such as on-demand shuttles or contactless payment, will help reducing negative impact on climate change. This development will be accompanied by cutting-edge research in new technologies and standards, as well as the collection and analysis of transportation data. In the computer engineering program, you are not only learning the technical aspects of the new transport technologies, but are also confronted with the broader picture of the changing transportation landscape and corresponding challenges. Many of those challenges are reflected in Smart Mobility 2030. This is a strategic plan developed by the Land Transport Authorities of Singapore, LTA for short, together with the Intelligent Transport Society Singapore, or ITSS. The strategic plan is a working towards a smart urban mobility of the future where people and transportation systems are seamlessly connected, interacting through innovative states-of-the-art ITS technologies. Again, ITS standing for intelligent transportation systems. The new smart mobility we build on, is built on four pillars. 
information, interaction, assistance and ecology. More precisely, it will use high quality transport information to meet diverse needs, smart interaction will support enhanced traveler needs, assistive technologies will ensure a safe and secure road environment and, last but not least, green technologies will provide a sustainable and environmentally friendly transportation system. SIT Computer Engineering covers all those pillars offering a curriculum designed around the domains of computer science, communication technologies and electrical and electronics engineering. Summing up, we can conclude that the broad range of these mobility-oriented initiatives indicates a growing industry and rising demand for future talent in this area. So far, we have put a lot of emphasis on the transport and mobility domains. But what if you are interested in different areas? Is SIT computer engineering program still something for you? Well, it very much is and we've got you covered. By combining the two big disciplines, electrical and electronics engineering and computer science, the program will prepare you for many more emerging disciplines other than just transportation. Let me give you some examples of the areas our students and graduates can contribute to in future. First, we have smart homes, where more and more everyday activities in our living places are supported by digitalization and automation. Extending smart homes leads us to the Internet of Things, where consumer, electronics, appliances and other devices are exchanging data to increase their working efficiency and improve users' experience. Using IoT and robotics to help sick and elderly people opens up the huge and important domain of healthcare technologies, providing services such as telemedicine, AI-supported diagnosis or caregiving robots. Finally, we have the industries themselves, which benefit from robotics and automation in a development called Industry 4.0, Moreover, smart grids will be able to provide more economical and ecological power distribution and power consumption. I hope that with this brief overview of trends, initiatives and developments in the area of new technologies, I could give you some convincing reasons why our SIT computer engineering program is today more relevant than ever. Let us now take a closer look at the details and structure of our program. SIT Computer Engineering is a first-of-its-kind program that has a strong focus on mobility and intelligent transportation. However, being an interdisciplinary module with a limited student intake of about 60 students per year, we can equip you with the necessary knowledge and skills to work in many more than just the transportation industry. Speaking of industry, our program is supported by a special industry advisory committee and endorsed by well-known companies and institutions such as LTA, ST Electronics and ITSS. I would also like to mention that SIT Computer Engineering is a rather new program. It was launched five years ago and was initially named Telematics Intelligent Transportation Systems Engineering to emphasize the transport-related components. However, we felt that the program is actually positioned much broader than initially planned and hence have recently changed the name from telematics to computer engineering with a specialization in intelligent transportation. In October 2019, we reached our great milestone with the graduation of our pioneer cohort. Computer engineering is a three-year Bachelor of Engineering degree, but how is it structured? Well, as the three study years are divided into three trimesters, it can nicely fit in a three by three grid. In year one, we have uh, the foundation trimesters, where you learn the basics of engineering and computer science. There is a break in trimester three, uh, which can be used to catch up on some coursework, or if there is no need for this, you can also use this time to take an internship with one of our many industry partners. Year two is mainly dedicated to enhancing and deepening the relevant technical knowledge with two core trimesters. During the third trimester in year two and first trimester in year three, we will send you to the industry for an eight-month integrated work-study program. 
when after eight months you come back to school, you will refine your technical knowledge in specialized modules. You will also be able to demonstrate your acquired skills by working on an individual design project. By the way, if you're wondering about the numbers in the brackets, they just represent the number of credit units acquired during each trimester. I don't want to go too much into detail, but to give you just a glimpse into the content of our program, let's have a look at the actual computer engineering modules. For example, the foundation trimester contains subjects such as engineering mathematics, physics, electronics, or programming. In year two, some core modules are sensors and control, embedded system design, vehicle instrumentation, wireless communication, or automotive operating systems. Finally, the specialization modules in year three comprise traffic regulations, systems and software engineering, digital signal processing, automotive electronics, or car interconnects. Throughout the trimesters, we also offer a number of soft skill modules, such as technical communication, professional development, and ethics, as well as project management. The remaining activities, shown in yellow, represent the potential of five trimesters of industry attachment. This begins with the possibility for a three to four months internship in year one, followed by our big IWSP in year two and three, and ending with the individual design project that can be done in collaboration with industry as well. So since industry attachment is an integral part of SIT's applied learning approach, let us take a closer look at the given possibilities. As mentioned before, you will have three opportunities to work at a company, an industry induction, the IWSP, and the design project. This means that out of the 36 study months, you could be attached to a company for up to 20 months. This is more than half of your entire study. There are three main aspects why such a long attachment to industry is beneficial for both students and the industry. First, the proximity between students and their internship company creates a strong bond and builds loyalty on both sides. Second, companies get the opportunity to identify and invest in good candidates. And third, students become more grounded in the industry community. All in all, by studying computer engineering at SIT, you will become a technical practitioner with industry know-how and strong, relevant academic knowledge. I have talked much about the importance of industry attachment, so I guess you might want to see some of the companies our students are actually working for. Here we can see that already our first batch had a great choice between multinational firms such as Audi, Continental, Siemens or Infineon, Singaporean heavyweights like LTA, PSA and ST Engineering, and also a number of so-called SMEs, small and medium enterprises such as Movita, SyncPilot or ATT. For subsequent batches, we have greatly extended the company pool, as you can see on the right. For instance, we have now SMRT, M1, NCS or Rodo and Schwartz, just to name a few. Most importantly, many of those companies became the new working places for our students after they graduated. I have presented to you the program structure and working landscape. Let me now slowly wrap up this presentation by showing you what computer engineering students can expect from their study beyond traditional classroom knowledge. We are quite proud of the fact that within the computer engineering program, we are working on cutting edge technologies such as autonomous mobility, electric cars or vehicle to infrastructure communication. Those technologies are used for applied research projects and are also included in the curriculum where students can get in contact with novel industry relevant concepts and devices. Indeed, at SIT in Dover, we have a small self-driving vehicle and smart lampposts as part of a testbed for future autonomous mobility. Let me show you a short video clip where you can see our autonomous vehicle in action. What about hands-on education? To offer you plenty of space and opportunities for practical work, we have excellently equipped laboratories. For example, 
there is a special embedded systems lab, there is a radio frequency and electronics lab. We even have a dedicated transportation systems lab with a huge screen to visualize, for instance, roadmaps and traffic flows. Aside from on-campus activities, we also offer field trips and uh, excursions to enrich and extend the learning experience. For example, just in March this year, we have organized a trip to Gardens by the Bay for our Year 3 students. Those students were given a presentation by Willers, the operator of the self-driving bus there, and could even take a free ride with this vehicle. We are also very proud that many of our students successfully participate in local and international competitions. We had students representing SIT at the World Skills Singapore. We had a group of students winning the Best Ideation Award at the ITS Forum in Fukuoka in Japan. And we had multiple student groups winning commendation awards at the Smart Bus Challenge from LTA. Finally, as part of our Overseas Exposure Program, you will have the possibility to go on a one-week trip abroad and visit relevant industries, attend talks and, well, just have fun being away from home for a while. These pictures were taken in the trip to Chengdu in China. With this, I come to an end of my presentation. I hope I could arouse your interest in those exciting new technologies and motivated you to study computer engineering at SIT. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you soon in person at SIT.